Today we are delving into the construction of the walls for the Admiral's cabin. Take a look at these drawings and you'll notice that there is no common vision for the cabin's appearance. This gives me an opportunity to unleash my own design skills. With the help of Fusion 360 I crafted the cabin walls. It was quite a challenge as I wanted to incorporate lighting and create some interiors. The first version of my design had to be scrapped, because the doorway appeared too wide. To build the walls I opted for a sandwich material. The base is this veneer. And on the top we've got these pear wood bars. Although I typically use PVA glue, this time I decided to use cyanoacrylate to minimize wood distortion. I began with a full-scale prototype. And here we have the final details. The front and the rear walls. Now let's make the window frames. Since the frames are small, I fashioned the micro file to address all the chips. To create window panes, I chose plexiglass. All this perfectionism, I couldn't resist modifying a lantern a bit. I documented the entire process in one of my earlier videos, so be sure to check it out. Now, onto the painting. Due to the miniscule scale, it posed quite a challenge. The shell is smaller than the average fingernail, and the smallest brush I had was a number two. It felt a bit large for the task, but I'd love to hear your thoughts on the end result in the comments. Initially, colors may appear overly bright and saturated, but look how everything transforms once I apply a brown coat. The door undergoes the same treatment. and I decided to make it openable using a few paper strips and glue. Now let's focus on the back wall. It's an intricate structure indeed. It must accommodate the wires. So I had to simultaneously install the wall, the stern part of the bulwark and the lantern.
Well, it's time for a quick check to ensure everything functions. And there you have it, we have light. I decided to adorn the back windows with colored stained glass. This conceals the LEDs inside the cabin. And I must admit, it looks even better than I expected. What do you think? With all the main components in place, it's time for the final assembly. First, I glue in the internal false panels to hide the wires and create a cozy mahogany ambience in the cabin. Next up, I need to solder the wires, ensuring the correct polarity. And, for the final touch, the back internal false panel. Everything works flawlessly. It's a sweet reward of the two weeks of hard work. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. In this case, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. And thank you for being with me today. Good luck.